Ladies and gentlemen, I am Iwa Shenu. You are my audience. This is Minecraft. And I am out of fuel, apparently. How did that happen? Ah, no appetite. I think we've got some appetite. I also need to grab all these so they don't disappear. I've made a few improvements uh, to this. Obviously, I haven't done appetite, which I probably should do. But I have done a fully fleshed out cacti farm and a second farm down there. And they're all linked up. Here we go. This was uh, blown up by a creeper, so I've been sort of reinforcing it. I lost everything I have right here when he blew up. Now this is just a regular oak farm, and it's going to farm all this section here. Pop it down, as you can see here. It's going to immediately pump it into this chest. This chest is a replacement for the chest up there that pumps everything into the compressor and all the other stuff. So This oil, or this, um, not oil, this biofuel, biomass fuel, basically goes straight through there and connects to up there. I actually might have shown you this beforehand. If so, I'll just skip over all this. All right, I also have this. Though I don't have the engine running here because, well, I guess I do have the engine running. I don't have the squeezer running. That's right, I don't have it running. Because it takes a lot, and like I normally just end up running out. But I do occasionally come in here and turn it on. And I can find out where I'm supposed to be yeah, with it. However, today, we're going to be doing something interesting. So I want to start using apple juice. Um, apple juice increases your yield by 1.5%. So instead of one sapling giving me 0.8 buckets, I'll get 1.2 buckets. And the issue with that is apples are very, very rare spawn. You might get an apple every like seven or eight trees. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Boop. So because of that, I can I can't produce enough to keep this up and this running. So this doesn't produce any fuel, and then this doesn't get any fuel, and then this entire thing shuts down. I basically have to restart it every so often. And it's actually fairly quickly. So what I'm going to do is breeding. I'm going to breed some trees that I stated last time. In order to do that, though, I have to start breeding bees. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to grab some bees. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to have this set up, whether I'm just going to leave them out like this or have a different area set up. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. But first section we're going to do is right here. Now I don't have anything to tell me what any of these bees are other than marbled meadows, yada yada yada. So we're going to start off with a rocky princess, princess, and a rocky drone. Let's see. Okay, so they're producing. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hmm. I guess that's, uh, I guess she's good. All right, let's go put a Meadows one up here. Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drone. Let's see what they get. Oh, she's a queen. Okay, let's see. Rain. Operation only possible when it's not raining. All right, so that's one issue there. Let's see, Valent Drone and let's do a Where's the valent? Did I not grab it? Oh well. Let's go and do a embitter drone. And hmm. Well, I guess I I cannot count, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do a marbled princess. And a modest drone. Nope, where's my marble drone? See what it says. Dun 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 boom. Rain. Can't operate down the rain. Alright, I need to stop raining. Let's see what this guy's doing. 
I guess once that gets done, it's going to pop out some stuff. I don't, I don't know. All right, here I'm mixing a Meadows Princess with a Embittered Drone. I get a Meadows Queen still. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't change. No Queen, so it's, right, it's Queen and a Rocky Drone. Meadows and Rocky. All right, that's what I get. Hmm. I think maybe it's going to be like the, the outcropping of what I get. Like, like after it rains and this goes down. That it'll depend, like, oh, now you've got a Rocky, or now you've got this or that. Well, what that's doing, I've made a fair amount of progress on my thumb crafting. So I've got bees, I have, I don't know what that is, I think I'm researching that now. Or one of the items I'm researching. Uh, I got my active stream, which is really nice. Uh, Boots of the Traveler, I'm working on those. Oop. So I've got a fair amount of stuff. I think uh, Wand of Lightning is what I'm working on exactly right now. Yeah, Wand of Lightning. I have Bees and Magic over here. And that's all stuff. Like, I get this little speed thing on this one. I get, like, tools on that one. This, I get armor and a whole bunch of stuff. So that's all, like, my crafting stuff. My whatever. I don't know what it is. So slime zombie. All right. And here I have... I wand. I just need to fill this up. So that's why it's here. And I think I'm actually going to do that. Alright, now how these work is let's say I have 16 v volito. Then I, can, I make one of these next to it. I find whatever I can get to volito, like feathers. And since each one gives me f two, I have to throw eight feathers in there. And I'll come over here and notice that this is full. I have to do the same for all of these. And then. Boop. Got my boots of the traveler. Bam. Now this is just me running. This is not me sprinting. Running? Oh, walking? Sprinting? Same speed. So, you, wow. That's pretty fast. Uh, so that and there for later use. And I'm not entirely sure what's going to be next to make. But something will be. Oh, I need to... Oh, man. I need to get a... Uh, a quill... Hang on. That way, because when I th you throw stuff in there, you, the chance that you'll have a uh, you'll you'll learn something randomly, like a discovery. So you should always have quill on you. You need a sheet of paper, a bottle, I think. Which I don't know if I have. Crescent bottle. I do. Bam. And. Uh, ink sack, which I think is up here. Nope. This is wow, this walking really fast thing is nice, but a little bit confusing. And I just spoke really loud there, cause yeah. There you go. Boop. And you just put these like this. Bam, 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 bam. Maybe it's a feather you need. Oh, there you go. No sheet of paper needed. Okay, when you keep that with you and you throw stuff into the crucible, this thing right here, you might learn something new. But you also have to keep it full of water, so you have to refill it each time. Let's go take a look at those bees and see what they have. Right, it's no longer raining, so hopefully these things are going to be... Oh, no queen in that one. Queen, all right. Uh, machine... Hostile environment. Why is this a hostile environment? Machine or inhabitants cannot walk in this biome. Okay, so Modest Queen can't walk there. Alright. Uh, neither can a Modest Queen. Or a one tree Queen. So apparently, it just checks one thing at a time. No flowers. Okay, so I need to put some ripe flowers here. Alright, let's go check this guy out though. Okay, so he made a rocky princess and a rocky drone. Let's uh, let's get mate in again. Let's see what they give us eventually. Uh, oh, sky is obstructed. Really? Oh, oh yeah, I can walk up one, can't I? Okay, hostile walk environment still. Man, hostile walk environment. Marbled princess, there you go, and a rocky drone. That's what I got. Now they're gonna mate again and find out what they get. 
No flowers, I can handle that. No flowers, can handle that one. Hostile work environment. Let's go get some flowers. Okay, so if you came back, we have some purple, some yellow flowers, some indigo, and we have some bone mill to, to make some more flowers. First thing we're going to do is try the bone mill. See what we get. Still no flowers. I think it's yellow, so let's try yellow. And maybe indigo. There he goes. Guess it was indigo. So she is having some fun. Alright, no queen. Nope, no flowers. Try this one again. You can tell because I guess that's little bees that are flying out. That's kind of cool. So this one's producing too. It's just a honeycomb. Nice. Hmm. No flowers. I wonder if it's just like a count. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five flowers. Six flowers. Seven flowers. Eight. And five up to me. Nine. I have a queen here, right? No, not daytime. Okay. Well, oh, hmm. So this is what they produce. They produce one Meadows Princess and two Meadows drones. I have honeycomb. I need to start getting so I can uh a centrifuge so I can centrifuge those. That way I can go from there to getting really good bees. I kind of like the idea of like just leaving them out and about like that. Ooh, and final one. You're still chugging away. Now you can do any time, can't you? Night, day, whenever. Raining, sunshine. I like these rocky beads. They're kind of hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I am I wish you knew as always. Uh... Comments, questions, dude remarks, anything like that, make sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. That way I know you're listening and I can kind of tailor my world to what you all want to see. And if you want to see me start working on uh, more Twilight Forest stuff, maybe go into the maze that I found, or go hunt down a Naga, stuff like that, you have to let me know. Maybe you said, hey, you know, add some grass up here. Okay, well, I'll do that. Nobody did, but I do think we need some more grass. And we're done. Now we need some graphic right there. Also, I'm still looking at a way to improve this. For those of you who don't know how to make impregnated, uh, I and mean, basically make apiaries, what you do is you take seed oil, you put 50 seeds in a squeezer, and you get an empty, s you get a one, and you put that in here, and it gets you like a, a bucket basically of seed oil, and then you do this, and you get a impregnated uh, casing and then you do the impregnated casing here glass glass tin tin and you get the aphory and you I think it's a uh, one bucket of seed oil gets you like four impregnated casings because I think I had five and I ended up with 20 so as I said again thank you for watching I will see you next time